Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylee. This is Burkana Star. Uh, today I actually want to talk to you about a very important rune and a very important topic. And that is the topic of personal power. So today's rune is actually Solu. It's a big old, it's a big old lightning bolt. You may recognize it if you're familiar with Nazi propaganda as the S symbol on the SS jackets. Um, that would be because they stole that from the Norse mythology and used it. In fact, they perverted a lot of symbols, a lot of very powerful symbols, actually, that, um, <laughs> wow, this ties in so perfectly. They perverted a lot of very powerful symbols into their ideology, into their uh, their image, right? The Nazis took the eagle, the king of the sky, and made it made it their bird. Um, they took the swastika, which is a very powerful symbol from actually a lot of different cultures um, in Hindu, Hinduism, uh, and Norse mythology. It's both a symbol of personal power and lightning, and lightning is power, right? Anyway, I'm going a little bit off topic here, sorry. <laughs> uh, side rant. All right, so Solu. This is the sun. This is the sun's energy. It is wholeness. It is um, soul. You represents your soul, and it's actually interesting that I mentioned Hinduism because in Hinduism, which I'm studying right now because I'm learning Vedic astrology, uh, the sun in your chart represents your soul, um, and one of the names for sun mean soul, Surya. So anyway, the point of this rune and of my little rant there <laughs> is that <clears throat> each one of us has the power within us. We don't need to search outside of ourselves for power. We don't need to consume different media sources or other people's energy for that power. It's already inside of you. Um, all you have to do is tap into it. Uh, <laughs> this is a subject that has come up a lot across YouTube um, and in my feed in particular from a lot of different people that I personally follow. And the reason for this is because as we are shifting, as we're going through this, great awakening and people are waking up and understanding that they have a lot of power and um, the powers that be that don't want you to know your own power. They will be manipulating the story, manipulating your emotions and sorry, just checking out what the dog's barking at. Manipulating your emotions, manipulating your power or manipulating you into giving away your power. There's something really important here uh, in that sentence there. <clears throat> no one can forcibly take your power. You must relinquish it. I, let me repeat that. No one can forcibly take your power. You must relinquish it. So that said, how do you connect? How do you connect to source? Where do you get your energy from? What are you eating? What are you consuming? What are you consuming energetically? What are you listening to? Are you watching the news a lot? Or, I mean, I'm not saying don't be ignorant. But like, what kind of TV shows are you watching? What kind of books are you reading? What kind of music are you listening to? What is the underlying message? Is it empowering or does it leave you feeling drained and scared? Personally, I've not been able to watch the news in several years. First of all, it was too triggering 
And then it just, it raised my stress levels so high I couldn't even function in my daily life. How is that helpful? It's not helpful or healthy. So anyway, the message of Soul You is that you are a powerful being. The Norse, along with many other cultures, believe that we are descended from gods. Or, more accurately, we have that link to God. And that link is within you. It's not outside of you. It's in here. So, as we go through this week, as we experience some really beautiful and transformative transits over the next day or two, uh, for the rest of this year, hell, but I mean, I think t tomorrow you're going to see some big changes. Um, anyway, as we move forward through this time, together, as a community, as a family, make sure that you're recharging yourself. you can to nurture your own power without voluntarily giving it away and hey maybe you need to assess some boundaries energetic spiritual physical and do some more research on boundaries because that is often where we give our power away as we think that we owe something to someone or we feel guilty and guilt my friends guilt and fear are the biggest manipulators if you can make someone feel guilty you can make them do anything so assess 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 where you feel that assess how information is processed by your body tap into your intuition all right friends have a good day, have a good week, and I will be back first and mid-monthly with my runes and my tarot very shortly. Okay, love you, bye.